Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Danny and today I'd like to show you how to create this navigation section on a website. I have it on my personal website and it works really nicely. It's super smooth. So you see here on the left side, I have these different tab navigations that kind of follow me down the page and it also acts as its own navigation. So this will jump me to any different section on the page. Um, and also of course, it goes through those active and inactive states as I scroll. Um, so to start, I just have this regular framer board and I'm gonna drop in a few of their existing sections just to kind of fill up the page a little bit so that we can start creating the different sections that we need. Um, and of course, if you're doing this on a real website, you want your actual sections. Um, so to start, I have these three sections that I just dropped in here and I'm just gonna turn these into their own scroll sections. So this is gonna be kind of the foundation of how this works, is that we tell Framer what the different sections are on the page are, and then we're able to toggle between different variants depending on which section we're at. So to start, I'm just gonna select this first section, and I'll just call it one. We'll just call these one, two, and three to keep it simple for now. So this also scroll section, this one is section two. And then our final one is section three. If you select any thing on the, like if you select any of these individual items, for example, you can just press shift return um, to take you out make sure that you're putting the section on the actual section and not one of the items within it. And we'll just call that three. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create our actual nav items. So I'll just call this nav item for now. I'm gonna press option command return to create a stack. And I'm gonna set this to fit contents and I'll give it 16 pixels of padding. So this is gonna act as our nav item. I wanna steal this color real quick because I'm gonna create that gray to be like our active state. So now I'm just gonna press option command K to turn this into our nav item component. And I'm gonna drop that color in that I just stole from the other bar. So now that I have that, I'm gonna create another variant and this is gonna be our active state variant. So I'll just rename this real quick, call it active, and rename the first one, we'll call it default. So to toggle between these, I'm gonna do something very simple. I'm just gonna have um, zero L opacity on the main one, and my active one goes to 100 and this will highlight our items. And I'm just going to add eight pixels of radius. Okay, so now we have our actual nav items. I'm gonna hold Alt to duplicate this and then Command D. So we only have three sections. If you have 10 sections, you wanna make sure you have enough nav items. But for our three sections, I'll just select these and press Option Command Return, put those inside of a stack. And I'm gonna add eight pixels of padding. And now we'll just drop this inside of our page. Oops, make sure it actually goes into the page. There you go. And I'm gonna set this to fill or be full width. So now this is gonna act as our sticky header that's gonna follow us down the page as we scroll. And I wanna just distinguish it from the page a little bit. So I'm gonna add, well, yeah, I'll just add a little bit of a border to the bottom, give it a, a nice light gray color. And I wanna make sure this is zero on all sides except the bottom. Perfect. And the only other thing we have to do is actually set this to be sticky and make sure that our page has overflow set to visible, which allows those sticky components to actually work. So I'm gonna preview this real quick. Looks like everything's working. Of course, we haven't added our functionality yet, so let's do that next. So for each of our different nav items, we're gonna add in an effect called a scroll variant. And what this allows us to do is tell Framer that when we're within a certain section on the page, we want to change the variant. So we're gonna change this to section in view. When the section is in the middle of our viewport, and for this first item, it's section one. We want it to change to active. I'm gonna add one more section here because we wanna tell Framer that when we leave that section, 
we want it to go back to um, being not active. So for section two, I'm gonna bring it back to default. So we have our section in view, active, section out of view, back to default. And I'm gonna teach you a trick real quick. You could actually just right click here and go copy effects and we can paste this on our next two elements. So this will save us a little bit of time, but we still have to do a little bit of manual overwriting here. So for section two, we actually want this to be section two. And when it goes to section three, um, then it goes back to default. And then for the other one, we're gonna do section three and we can just remove that last one because there is no section after it. All right, let's go ahead and see if this is working. So right away we can see that nav item one is selected. As I scroll down and reach section two, you'll see that it becomes selected. Let's try that again and make sure it's working properly. Section two is in view, so section two has been selected. And now I've reached section three, so it is being selected. You can mess around with this as much as you'd like, um, as far as like, where you actually want the viewport to be if you want it to be once it reaches the top. I like the middle, but it's kind of personal preference. You'll see that this is working pretty nicely. We have our different sections coming into view. The only other thing that you might want to do is actually tie each one of these to different sections. So I can come into here, select this, and I'm just going to add a link and then create variable. And I want to add smooth scroll to this. So this will just allow us to actually use this as a navigation. So this would then take me to my home page, and I want it to take me to section one. This one, same thing, link me to my home page, section two. And here this links to my home page, section three. So if we preview this again, you'll see that we can actually scroll nicely through these sections using this as our navigation. I hope you guys found this useful, helpful in some way. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.